need to get in your dinghy and come out and surf. This is living. <laughs> Thank you. Bula. Bula. Well, that's something to shake out a very unglamorous sailing experience. Yeah, I think we need to write a letter to all other marinas. So you're doing it wrong. Yeah. That's why we've had to wait so long. They had to make a reef for it. Well, we've been making reefs in the sails. They've yeah, been making say. reefs of flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last five days looked a little something like this as we sailed over from Tonga. Some dead stillness in a marina with a full night's sleep and not a glimmer of anchor anxiety was just what the doctor ordered. I'm looking at a new boat. The Elan 400. So we're going to enjoy a nice relaxing day here in the marina. And really? <laughs> catch up on seven months of cleaning. It's been seven months since we've been in a marina. Um, so we're going to take advantage of unlimited water. And finally clean up Avalon after many thousands of miles of sailing. Uh, get some washing done and hopefully tick off all our boat jobs in the next day or two so we can get out of here, get surfing. All right, let's go. My main job today is getting mould off of things. When you live on a boat, everything on the boat just gets mouldy and that extends to walls, fabrics, <laughs> just everything. It's like these are our cushions, there's just mould all over them. And um, the worst thing is our wet weather gear because we'd wear it sailing and then we'd hang it out to dry, think that it was dry, and then we'd put it away for storage until the next passage just mold everywhere so my weapons of choice are white vinegar and bicarb of soda and a brush so while I'm waiting for that to work it's magic I'm gonna go and pick some herbs this marina has many quirks to it and I'm going to take you to a cool place. <laughs> so there's a lady that lives at this marina. Apparently her name is Star. And she has planted all of this. Which is really nice. And got a little, little veggie patch that apparently anyone is welcome to come pick something. And this is music to my ears. We've got some dill. I think. <laughs> mm. I bought a cabbage head and with it I wanted to make some kimchi and dill is probably the best thing you can put in kimchi so I'm gonna harvest a bit of this mm, I used to grow Thai basil in my garden in Australia it's amazing I'm gonna get that and make some pesto because that's Jackson's favorite food in the whole world <laughs> so today's a good day yeah I've seen you there Looking all pretty when you brush your hair. Well, it's grey skies out here, and it's also grey skies in here. Got a very 
forlorn captain today. Gonna take him to watch the sunset to make him feel better. Two things happened today. One of them's this bad. And then the other one's pretty bad too, so. We've got a few stories to tell ya. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to get off the boat. So, first issue of the day. I got the riggers over to come and help me fix the backstay. Uh, basically my forestay and the other wires have stretched a bit and I've maxed out on my turnbuckle on the backstay. I want to get the stud cut off and put a new one on which would be a little bit higher and then I can get the tension back in the backstay. So anyway, it should be a quick and easy job. Got the guys over, yep, 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 we've got the parts. Come back, try to put it on and the pin on the new turnbuckle doesn't fit my chain plate. They are two young blokes and they're like, oh, well maybe we'll drill out the chain plate. I'm like, no, you're not drilling out my chain plate. Go and get the right pin. So then they spent all day going around town trying to get a new pin fabricated. Uh, who knows how much that's gonna cost. Um, so yeah, that was really annoying. A one hour job is now turned into a two day job. Then... Just gonna cut you short. They might recognize this boat. Oh yeah. Sailing Another well. sailing YouTube channel. Lovely couple they are. If you haven't watched Sailing Inspire, you've got to get into it. They're amazing. We might borrow your bikes. Yeah, Abby I was Rose. actually thinking. I actually wanted to text Abby and say, uh, can we borrow well, your bikes? Can we borrow your bike? <laughs> and your dinghy and your paddleboard. Then, just as we we're winding up, I packed all the tools away and I was like, oh, should I do the fridge? Because the freezer has gone like that much ice all around it and it was like reducing the capacity of the fridge although it was nice and cold so i was like all right i'll start knocking off the ice so of course i had a screwdriver and a hammer and was chipping away at the ice and the screwdriver slipped went straight in the side of the freezer punctured a hole in the side of the freezer and then all this gas just started coming out of, of your ears oh wow. and your ears <laughs> Oh my god, my reaction was not happy at all. All right, quick interlude for a boat that I've wanted to show Jackson. Uh, we oh yeah. are always thinking about the upgrade and we kind of like X yachts because they're nice and fast and there's one right here, so we're gonna have a little look at it. Thanks for the interlude there. So, to finish this off and go into more fun things, I've pierced the side of the freezer. All the coolant gas is now rushed out and now we've got an engineer guy coming, thankfully tomorrow morning, who, I don't know, hopefully he can stitch it back up and put some more gas in it. But, yeah, uh, boat work, you're trying to do a good job and it's just, doesn't matter how much you plan and how careful you are, something bad always happens. And you know what the best I don't know if it's just me, am I like an idiot doing no, boat jobs? I God, think I am. Have you spoken to anyone else? It's, it's, it's Basically, owning a boat is two steps forward, one step back. But, do you know what the best thing about the whole thing is? Right. We're going to some sick island yeah, I guess so. tomorrow. Yeah. We're going island hopping We're not going to have a fridge who or gives, a backstay. Who gives the monkey? It's going to be amazing. I'm going to get a smile on his dial. Hmm. Even if I have to force it. It's my new boat, is it? Yeah, let's look at your new boat, come on. definitely know you're in hurricane country or cyclone country when a lot of the boats especially in long-term storage are all put in pits so the idea is that basically they just get like a big tractor or excavator and dig these big pits and put boats in the pits as you can see like resting on these tires and the intention is that the boat can't fall off the supports because you see some horror like horror photos of boat yards where like hurricanes and stuff come through and all the boats are just like dominoes and have all just fallen over. So I guess this is a pretty good way of mitigating that issue.
Surfing. Mm. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> oh, leave it open. Yeah, I'm gonna get up. Okay. Here we Morning. Welcome to Musket Cove. It rained a bit last night. Got the pots and pans out, but um, yeah, it's pretty nice here. Complete glass off this morning. And we're going over there. So that's Nomotu Island and that's Tavarua Island. The two surf hotspots of this area. Cause I know you're breaking All this love and all this pain you've given All this love and all this Just pain Just arrived in absolute paradise It's a pretty cool opportunity finally to be able to like just take your own boat around these surf spots and anchor off these surf spots Unfortunately I think the waves are just a little bit small today. Yay! I think they're too small for you. But oh, really? Yeah. But that's all right. We should only have to wait out this little, this little lull in the swell for a couple of days, and then, um, yeah, it looks like there's some really nice swell coming in just a few days' time. It's on. Give us a 
this a shaka? Oh, I forgot you don't shaka, sorry. Oh my god, the dinghy ran away and Jackson's naked. It's <laughs> just going to get the dinghy. <laughs> oh, he literally debagged himself and dove straight in. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh 